three feet high and rising, was inspired, maybe just the state that we were in as kids, just not afraid to say this is me. At the same time, it also gave birth to an era, a sound, a style mm -hmm. in hip hop. The fact that we were these three young dudes out of Long Island and we can hear our record on the radio, we were already successful. That was it, we made it. Those times, you know, were very exciting for me, sitting up until four o'clock in the morning knowing I gotta be up by 6.30 <laughs> to get the bus to school, you know? Yeah. And after the economics, there was no more school bus. <laughs> I had to take the train to school. <sighs> so Brother Van Silk, not at my house. Sunday afternoon, February 12th. We just lost another member to our hip hop family and hip hop community. From De La Soul, I call him the Dove, David, man, he passed today. I really don't know too much of the details. Uh, he was 54 years old. I know the group is from Long Island. They, they, uh, made up their names for hip-hop. They rechristened themselves. But, um, it's sad that a lot of our legendary artists are dying at a young age. You know, and, um, De La Soul was, was basically more of the native tongue. You know, De La Soul, Tribe Called Quest, you know, the whole Native Tongue movement, you know, the the free spirit, you know, not uh, aggressive music in what they made. Jungle Brothers, Queen Latifah, you know, the Black Sheep, they all went out years ago on tour. They just got Launching on the 23rd of next month, you, 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 after all these years, whatever the situation was, now you're able to stream starting March 23rd, 2023, 3-23-2023. You'll be able now to stream uh, De La Soul's music, which is very important to the culture of hip hop. I mean, they just gave it another branch, another avenue. I didn't know David too well. I might have met met him once, once or twice. <sighs> you know, um, I think De La Soul popped on stage at the Grammys or whatever it was, and he wasn't there. Evidently, he was going through a lot of health situations. And uh, like I said, the battle with the record label, Tommy Boy, over the years, publishing issues, kept their music off the stream, which could have been generating millions and millions of dollars. <sighs> we just losing too many at such a young age. You know, and uh, all I can say is like, listen, man, condolences to his family and friends, the real friends. And um, you definitely will be missed. And uh, not to sound crazy, but artists dying at such a young age, this is making it hard for some groups when you have a member missing, I mean, you look at uh, Kool Roski from the Fat Boys, both of the members are missing. You look at UTFO, the only member left is Doc Ice. And these, are, these are members that were trios. Well, there's two members left in Taylor, so. Rest in peace, my brother. Just your brother Van Silk, not in my house. There's nothing more I can say, man. It's just, it's not easy. It's not easy. Peace.